Hello everybody, in today's video we'll be going over your TSI lab. Your TSI lab stands for triple sugar iron agar. The three sugars in this agar are going to be glucose, sucrose, and lactose. We also have a variety of proteins, as well as phenol red, which will act as our pH indicator, and thiol sulfate included in this agar. And when you get your TSI test tube, you're gonna notice that the technique for this is a little bit different from all of the other labs that you've done so far, in which we are going to use a stab and streak method. So if you can imagine when you get your test tube, I'm trying to draw it in two different dimensions here, one straight on and one as a side profile. If you imagine that we have a solid agar from this portion down, and then from the bottom portion to the top portion of the cone here, this is only partially filled. And what we wanna do here is on the solid portion, the butt portion of it, we want to stab the media, and then when we come up to the slant portion, we want to come up with a squiggling motion when we come up. And then as soon as you're done with that, go ahead and label your test tubes and place them in the incubator for further observation. When you come back for observation, you're gonna to wanna to look for three things. The first thing that we're gonna look for is a color change. You're going to notice that your media did one of two things. It's gonna go from this orangish kind of color, maybe it's even pink, to either a red or an orange color change. And here you can see the two results that we could have as far as a color change. One is we have a red top and a yellow bottom or a completely red test tube. This one over here indicates to us that the proteins were used as an energy resource at the top and that the sugars were used as an energy product down in the bottom. And this is because when we do carbohydrate metabolism, we have acid end products, which gives us this yellow color. Whereas with the red indicates that we have alkaline end products, which is an end product of protein metabolism, which leads us right into our completely red test tube. This one tells us that we were able to use the proteins as an energy resource for the bacteria. But because there's no yellow here, this doesn't give us an indication that any of the sugars were used. A good question that you're gonna to wanna to have ready for your lab practical is how come we don't have a completely yellow test tube as a possible result for this? And feel free to answer that question down in the comment section below. The second thing that we wanna look for is was there gas production? And when it comes to gas production, we wanna look for one of three things, all meaning the same thing, that there was gas production or CO2 production to be specific. You could have either first some sort of bubbles that develop in the test tube. You could also have it where the test tube has some sort of crack in it and you have two different sets of media now. The last one that you could have is if the entire agar shifted upwards. So there's a gap here now. All of this means that you had gas production in the metabolic processes of the microbe. And the last thing that we want to look for is a black precipitate. So here we have your stab and streak. If you have some sort of black precipitate here, it doesn't matter how little or how much, all of it means that you have a positive result here. In the bacteria's metabolic process, sulfate was reduced to sulfide. And in that production, you also create sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid will bind to thiol sulfate to give you this black precipitate here. And here are some additional questions that you guys can answer down in the comment section below. Now, if you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe. Don't forget to check the description for additional study materials. And if you have any additional questions, please feel free to leave those in the comment section as well. And I'll see all of you in the next one.